Well, hi there, I'm Tom Malone and very much looking forward to the summer jumping action from Navin on Wednesday evening. The All Hurdle card gets underway at 25 to 5 with the welcome back racehorse owners made in hurdle over two miles for four-year-olds only. And hopefully all those winning connections can be in, att in attendance on Wednesday evening. But uh, the opener on the card here, I think, could go the way of Flying Scotsman from the Joseph O'Brien Yard in the Jake McManus colours. Maybe he probably... May, may not be in attendance, but uh, if Flying Scotsman can uh, improve his jumping, you think he has it within him to win a race. If not this one, then a very similar sort of race over the course of the year. Was fifth behind uh, French Seal at Leopardstown over Christmas, although somewhat distant fifth, so that should be enough, you would think, to win a race of this nature. The second race of the evening is the Yellow Furs Mare's Maiden Hurdle, and uh, number 10 in your card here catches the eye, uh, must be obeyed. Bumper winner at Ballon Robe last time out before before that was third here at uh, Navin. That form looks pretty strong and a repetition of that. She can be tricky though. Uh, she can be tricky, must be obeyed. So just watch her when she jumps off. Maybe hold those bets until they uh, just make it into the tape because she definitely has her quirks, but she's also talented as Tom Gibney's mare and hopefully must be obeyed. Can open her account over hurdles at 10 past five. The third race of the evening goes to post at 20 to six. It's the Stakalan handicap hurdle there over just shy of two miles. And number four in your card here, back on the bridle, could be the one for Shark Cam. Um, her last two starts over in Handicap Hurdle Company were far better uh, races than this. Acquitted itself well, particularly uh, two runs back. So, uh, like I said, a drop in class here and back on the bridle. Kind of blind. What could be a decent evening for Shark Handlin? He's got uh, some lively chances over the course of the card. Then at a quarter past six, we have the Kilberry Maiden Hurdle. Two miles of six ahead of him for this contest. The, this the first division of this 80 to 95. And number 17 in your card, what next? Uh, ran behind Kilcrute. Now, granted, was quite a long way behind Kilcrute. So just going to plump for number 11 in your card, should have, who's uh, only having his second start. Was green enough on debut uh, down in Killarney. Uh, made really eye-catching progress late on. And uh, the step up in trip should suit there. At quarter to seven then is the Gorman Lock hurdle, two miles and six ahead of them for this one, division one of this handicap. And uh, well, the top one here, a toe, this is certainly his level. We are well able to acquit himself, but I just quite like the chances of Story Rory here on handicap debut. Uh, off a mark of 95, Barry Brown on board for Conor O'Dwyer. And you just think the, uh, the step up and trip might just eke out a further bit of an improvement. And like I say, he's quite uh, unexposed as well, just on handicap debut. The second division of that Gorman Lock Handicap hurdle there for two miles and six and goes to post at a quarter past seven and I quite like uh, the chances here of Rule of June who was fourth at Punchestown when last seen. Uh, this is a, that was a better race than this. It's open trip for this and uh, well Rule of June was just touched off of a similar mark uh, in Kilbegan last uh, last summer so you'd think conditions will suit and uh, has proven to be able to go off a similar mark so just think Rule of June might take that uh, race there at a quarter past seven. Then the second last race of the evening at a quarter to eight is the Rathkenny Handicap Hurdle. Two and a half miles ahead of them for this one. And I quite like the chances here of number seven on your card, Zambazir from the No Mead Yard. No Mead's horses, uh, his yards kept the, uh, kept the good run of form going throughout the summer. And Zambazir here, He's dropping in class, he had a, a long layoff and then uh, a decent enough return when last seen. You'd imagine he could uh, just improve for that a little bit. Has competed at a higher level than this. This is his first time dropping uh, to this uh, 80 to 95 grade. I just think that Zambazir may take that penultimate race of the evening. Then they close on the card, it's the Division 2 of the uh, Rathkenny Handicap Hurdle. Uh, here Punches Poet and Fred Astaire uh, re-engage in battle after they finished fourth and fifth at Punchestown last time out. Also Lily Lightfoot finished fourth on the other division of that uh, hurdle. So they all bring a similar level of form to this uh, closer on the car. But I quite like the chances here of Champagne Izzy running some pretty hot maiden hurdles. Has been given a real chance by the handicap off a mark of 88 having run behind Brave Man's Game and Guy de Mayneil in uh, maiden hurdles already. So just Champagne Champagne is he there off a mark of 88 for Jessica Harrington. Looks to be given every chance by the handicapper on his first start in handicap.